There's not one guy, one person in the history of this program that's bigger than the program. What's better than this? Guys being dudes. This is an Oklahoma football podcast. Let's talk Oklahoma football. Zach Alley is your new 29-year-old defensive coordinator. Maybe. After. Not officially. After. He is. He's on campus. <laughs> he's working with the team. He's there. He's going to be the guy. After Ted Roof sort of is shown the door. And this is a move that we all thought would come eventually. But even during exit interviews for the season after the Alamo Bowl, Brent Venables spoke fondly of Ted Roof. Ted Roof mentioned his desire to continue coaching. So something changed. And Brent obviously wanted to get someone else in there. There's a lot of people running with the idea that, oh, this means Brent wants to be the head coach and not focus on the defense anymore. And I just don't totally get that. Like he wants to be the total CEO. I don't totally get that. I think that we'll get there in like a couple of years if Zach Alley is really good at his job. But uh, sorry for background. 29-year-old defensive coordinator at Jacksonville State. Oversaw a very great turnaround there this season. Only one year there. He was the D.C. somewhere else before that. And before that, he was a grad assistant for Brent Venables at Clemson. After playing for Brent Venables at Clemson. So a lot of familiarity with Brent, with the system, all of that. I've rambled a little bit. I hope that I've gotten the gist of this out. But uh, Matt Gann, let's start with you. Mm -hmm. You're giving me the most puzzled face. Give me your thoughts on Zach Alley. Anything I said there. What do you think, man? I think it's a great hire. Uh, I've seen a lot of interviews of him, especially talking about BV. And it almost reminds me of a young BV. It's incredible how similar they act and enunciate and um, show themselves in front of the media and reporters and all that. Just to give you some stats under his one year at Jacksonville State, they were seventh in turnovers, eighth in stop rate, 15th in run defense, 33, 33rd in scoring defense, 43rd in total defense. 15th in tackles, number nine in interceptions, number 16th in tackle for losses. Not a bad run for a conference that they're in. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, they, they did this in the SEC or they did this in the ACC. They're definitely in a smaller conference. But for one year to bring Jackson State where they were and to get a bowl game or a bowl win at the end of the season – I think that's some pretty good credibility. I like the hire, I like the familiarity that he has with BV. Again, I think it's just a little BV kind of in the making for what uh, Zach Alley can bring. And listen, he's got some animals coming in in that 24 class that he can work and mold along with Todd Bates, Miguel Chavis, and all the other coordinators. I think this is a good hire, and we hope to see some pretty big differences, especially with the dogs that we got coming in. Ryan? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, for sure. Um, I <laughs> so I I agree with everything that Gan said. I I actually do really like this hire. I think when it first was like talked about, I was like, oh, this dude's really young. It's like that's strange. But then I saw on Twitter that when like BV came to Oklahoma as co DC, he was twenty eight. So like. It's it's not really like that shocking to me that we're going after someone young, mostly because of everything Gan said with him being like a mini Venables. But at the same time, like what BV is doing, and I think it's very, very clear what he's doing is building this this bench of people that he is going to be able to pull from and move around and shift around as they are getting more and more positions. We've talked about this a lot on the pod, but if we're going to be the Alabama and the Georgias of, if we're going to be like Alabama and like Georgia, we have to expect that our coordinators are going to start getting job offers and, and getting head coaching offers. We saw it with Levy this year. Like that is going to keep happening. And what I think he's doing is he's, he's building a bench and I think Zach Alley being uh, the defensive coordinator, yes, but also is he, you know, um, 
trying to mirror himself onto Zach Alley. So when it's time, he can take over or, you know, there's a lot of things out there that, that you could like guess from this. But I think ultimately what he's trying to do is he's trying to say, like, I am bringing in the right people who I need to make this work going into the SEC. He feels a bit more comfortable in his second year to be able to do that. I mean, from what I heard with the conversation with Ted Roof, he wanted to keep him on, but he was like, this is the direction we're going. And Ted Roof decided that that's, that's not the direction he wanted to go. And that's totally, that's totally fine. I'm sure he and, wants to call a defense. Really uh, call it like, defense. Yeah, yeah. But he was he like, hangs him up. But he was like, this is, this is the direction we're going. Like, this is what I need. And this is what the university needs. And this is what the, the team needs. And, um, it feels to me, I really like that aspect to it because it feels to me more that BV is getting into more of that head coaching role. And I mm -hmm. know, Mark, you said earlier, like, oh, you don't, you don't like. I just don't see it happening uh, like immediately. Not I immediately, think, I think but I think that's like it's setting. I, I agree with you. It's setting himself up for the future. Exactly. I think what, and what Brent has done is kind of incredible with his staff because everyone on his side of the ball is a Brent Venables guy, or it's like yeah. Dave Alai, uh, Brandon Hall. Those guys have become Venables guys. And everyone on the offensive side of the ball is an Oklahoma guy. He's built a staff with ties either to him or to Oklahoma that are loyalty ties. You don't want to mm -hmm. leave your alma mater unless it's for a good reason. Like Jeff Levy had. Yeah. Props to Jeff Levy. He got a head coach. Youngest, That's great. youngest head coach in the SEC now. Good for Levy. And I, That's great. And I wanted to make one point about Zach Alley. He was the youngest DC for Louisiana Monroe. I Googled it while Matt was talking. Matt, great points, but I was Googling. Uh, he was the youngest DC in, in FBS for ULM, and he was hired sight unseen by Terry Bowden because he came with that good of a recommendation from Brent Venables. Mm -hmm. yeah. He went from outside linebackers coach at Boise State for Brian Harson. Auburn flame out and I, I sorry I'm blown away by this as, as someone who's older than 27 so yeah uh, I, I I think this yeah, dude must ahead, be Ryan, finish. I, I think this dude must be pretty special and I think part of the big draw for him and at least my mind is if he is a mini BV BV then can start to pull away from the defense a bit more because he knows this person who he's giving the reins to eventually is going to act just like him because it's it's so I I think it's a comfort thing I think it's a control thing I think it's like a mixture of stuff and I think he knows what he's doing so you got to trust him so I I like the hire if if BV loves this dude we, we love him too those are my Patrick, thoughts we haven't heard from you too much go ahead here I am baby I'll start off with Ted Roof I think I mean it kind of shows that the entire Sooner Nation wasn't bummed about that. I think he was always kind of a placeholder guy. Besides the press conference, you didn't see much of Ted Roof. And I feel like, you know, those are mandatory press conferences. You saw a lot, you see a lot of Miguel Chavis, a lot of Todd Bates. So from that aspect, like, thank you so much, Ted. But good points. It's it's okay. Everyone's okay. About the hire in general, yeah, he's a BV guy. And therefore I see it as a safe hire. And part of me doesn't like that because we could have gotten a sexy hire that comes with transfer portal recruits um, and a new, a maybe a new scheme. Line coach Defend his own. Yeah, exactly. So you push Todd Bates, no, so you right. push Todd Bates out. So you push people out. And that's, <laughs> that's why I'm saying it's a safe hire. It's a, I'm not rocking the boat hire. And part of me thinks that's great. Another part of me thinks maybe like, that's not taking a risk that we need going in the SEC. So, I love this take I, from Patrick because I, yeah. can Mark's I tell you why touch... I disagree with the and, Zach? Hold on, with one thing. Yes, yes. You're also hiring wanna, a 29 year old. Finish, yes. You're also hiring a 29 year old, and you're telling Miguel Chavis and Todd Bates a 29 year old better than you because he left the same program you were coaching at, even though you two followed me the entire time. But because this guy left and hopped programs, I'm bringing him back. And that's not showing loyalty to Miguel Chavis and Todd Bates, and that would piss me off. They don't have they don't have uh, defensive coordinator Bates um, experience, do they? I don't uh, care. Well, he's co-DC. Yeah, but that's not. But it's not. So, 
Well, so did Jay Valai. And you're right, Ryan, but I also did have the same questions. Did you not? At no, all? no, I, I think you do. But I think those are conversations that they probably had internally. And like, yep. I, you know, I, that is I, something I land that, on that like you have internally and I'm BV seems like the type of guy who's like, I'm not going to do this if my team doesn't support it. So like, and maybe I'm wrong, but like that, that's kind of the the vibe he gives off. I know, Mark, you're going to jump in here. The one thing that I want to say about your your thought, Patrick, is BV the man, the guy that we know, would never do that, would never make that like sexy hire that like that's against, I feel like, every grain that he is trying to create at the University of Oklahoma. Yeah, maybe that's not my opinion. Sexy, but like he didn't pull one of the top five defensive coordinators available. But um, I don't think and, he would because I think that would just rock the boat too much. Unless they had Oklahoma, unless saying. they had Oklahoma ties. And Installing then a new system means turning all of your current athletes that are built to play a current way into a new way. And sometimes that's an easy switch. Sometimes it's not. That's that's all I'll get at there, Patrick. What I would say to your uh, "it doesn't rock the boat" comment is simply that a twenty-nine-year-old coaching calling the defense possibly as dc in the sec might be the youngest that there has ever been so i think that that is rocking the boat a little bit yeah and i have no I actually have it's no like the lincoln riley his... hire from ecu yeah mm -hmm. honestly i have yeah. no i have no problem with his age or his experience i just think like would right. it have been cool to get the a&m defensive coordinator maybe and then hold yeah, in maybe. become of those guys maybe but yeah. This makes this makes sense, right? Brent's either going to trust Zach Alley to make the calls, or if Zach's not ready, Brent's going to be there to just do it anyway while Zach still learns how to be the, the defense coordinator Brent wants. There's going to be some adjustment there. Like, he's never he's never coached in an SEC, against an SEC team. Well, he has, but not consistently, not in huge games. So, I don't know. It's it's okay. It's a good hire, but I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit here and it's a hire for potential. I guess is what I would like to say. It's not a great hire. Like if Alabama hired him, everyone would just be like, oh, okay. Like Saban's just gonna call it like call the shots, which he does anyway. But it's a major come up for the dude. It's a major come up for the guy, and uh, I personally like the fact that Brent is pulling from different times in his coaching career to bring this group together, because I think it's a group that you're going to see mostly stick together until one of them gets an offer. And then they all get raises to leave the program with that offer. That's just part of the game. I want to leave us on this conversation with this. It's a Zach Alley quote from 2021 that I think we're all going to love hearing quote, I'm going to outwork you. I'm going to teach better than you. I'm going to prepare more than you do. And we're going to win because of that. That's something I hang my hat on. That sounds like Brent Venables wrote it. Mm -hmm. That sounds like something he said at his opening press conference two years ago. I love it. I love I, it. Any final thoughts on Zach Alley? I, I, I want to be clear. I'm not saying it's a bad hire. <laughs> I'm not saying it's about, and I'm not like shitting the on pressure the guy. And Pat. Oh, that's I'm not. I'm really day. not. I'm just saying, Pat, like, it's the, fine. the jury's still out here, and nope. we need to be have more your, realistic. Hey, have your opinion, no. man. No, I'm just saying I don't it's think good. the Stick fan to your base, guns, bro. It's good. No, Stick I'm just to saying him. I don't think the fan base is being extremely realistic about the situation. Like he's he's got a lot to prove. He's a young guy. He knows that, but like everyone's super excited because he's a little mini me. Like I don't know if that's a good yep. thing. We don't know if that's a good thing yet. I can get that. We're drinking the crimson and cream Kool Aid. Yeah. We always are There's some some stuff to be hesitant about there, perhaps a twenty nine year old. Citing Gan's uh, favorite memory of us after the Nebraska game, so we're always right. drinking the Kool Aid. <laughs> with that, with the hire of Zach Alley, we will have the best defense <laughs> in the SEC, guys. I don't know what. Can I change my national otherwise. champion pick to yeah. Oklahoma now that Zach Alley's around? <laughs> That's all I got. And Three, two, one. There's not one guy, one person in the history of this program that's bigger than the program. What's better than this? Guys being dudes.